talking about that you have to work on? You are supposed to work on a final, a final project presentation. I don't know whether you got that email. You're supposed to have presentations tomorrow, just the way you have you had presentations in the machine learning class. So you're supposed to, to make a project in Scratch, and then you have your final presentation tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. So do we have any other question? Or any other, uh, someone needs more guidance. Now, uh, if there are no questions, so we, we are going to be uh, finalizing with the, with the scratch. And uh, I hope, I don't know whether there is anyone who has been participating in the, in the coding unlimited uh, prompts, which are also uh, uh, have been, uh, we have been guiding you to upload your project on, uh, on the Scratch Studio. So now, th this time around, I'm going to show you how to, before we begin, I just want to show you how to, to get your project to the Scratch Studio. And after getting your project, the Scratch Studio, how you can always uh, improve upon it. And we always send you guidelines on how to add the project to Scratch Studio, but then we feel like uh, uh, some of you are still uh, facing challenges. And so, let me just uh, use the link here, just a moment. And uh, uh, when, when I get my link, before we try to build something else today, uh, so the link to the Scratch Studio is way here, yeah. So this is uh, the link I'm sharing uh, is the link to the Scratch Studio. Now I want to share, uh, I want to share my, just a moment, my browser. And I'm just going to go right to my Scratch Studio. So, uh, where's my Safari is here. So when you follow the link that I've sent you, let me just paste it here in the browser. When you follow that link, you are going to be redirected. To this page here. <laughs> then they are going to ask you that uh, your teacher has invited you to join the class. Then you just click on get started here. And when you click get started, you have to create your name. So I just call myself Rat QSP. You have not to use your, your, your names because of privacy. And then you come and put here the password that my password, I can just uh, create a simple password, which is, uh, then you click next step. After putting your username, then your password, then you click next step. And you don't have to put the actual age or maybe the birth date of month. So I can just say I was born in May and uh, I was born in 2000, maybe 12. You don't have to put your actual date of birth and then i put um, a mail and i'm from uganda that's okay anyone can know about uh, about this these are not so private so i i, I just go next and uh after going to next now I've, I've finished and i'm already my account has been approved so i click on go to class so when you click on go to class uh, i can decide to save my password a little bit and um, <coughs> Now you are at this point here, and now you are in class. So how do you add uh, your project when you're in class? So let me, let me log in here. Uh, let me just lo log in and see what happens here. So 
So this is my teacher account. I wanted to log in using a student account. So when you come now to scratch the next time, uh, when you come next time, you just click on uh, sign in, which is here. And uh, for those of you who are asking, how do I get there? Let me share the link. Sorry, I, I forgot to share the link. That's the link to, to the Scratch Studio. Now, when you click on sign in, you, you, this, uh, this prompt here is going to come up. And then you just click and put the username that you used. Mine, I saved it. It's that, that QSP. And then I put my password which I remember, then you click on sign in there. And upon signing in, you're going to see when you receive messages, they will be appearing here. When you receive notifications, you'll just be getting them here. So now here, when I create my project, uh, after creating my project and I've saved it on the computer or on my phone, the thing I, I have to do here now is to click on create Uh, or if I can't, if, let me just first uh, do something here. Uh, you can create, check your account here by clicking on this arrow. Just a moment. Uh, let me refresh this. May take long to respond, but you will always see, these are some of the projects that have been made by, uh, by your friends. So if you also upload your mess, your project, people will be able to see it. People will be able to comment on it and uh, also give you more recommendations and even play your game. Uh, so many people, if so many people are playing your game, so many people are getting engaged with your game and you are going to become popular on the coding, on this coding uh, platform and people are going to be referring to you as a teacher and you may become a scratcher in no, in no, in no minute. And I'm going to be telling you the benefits of being a scratcher. So my, my, my scratch is just uh, taking too long to load. But I wanted to show you something, uh, how to add a project before I can proceed with this class. So let me just cancel it. And I, I, I just start another, another browser here or another window. So when you're here, you, you can check on your account by going to my classes. This profile here is my, you can put a, an avatar as your uh, profile picture, if you don't mind, like just your colleagues here put avatars. So when I go to my classes, my class, you're going to see coding unlimited as your class here. And when you see down here, you will see class studio one. So you will, uh, you will click on, uh, on, the, on the studio here, which is coding unlimited. Just click on it. And now when you click on it, you're going to be able to see some of the projects that have been made by your, your friends. And you can also like them. You can put your comments on them. And you can also add your project. So how do I add my project? So you can add your project. Uh, first of all, if it's, uh, if it's not online, then uh, you're going to have to come to create. <coughs> After clicking create, uh, this is create, create a project. <coughs> and then you wait for it to load. I just clicked create here because I'm already signed in. Now I will be able to share my project publicly. And you can always choose to do that or not to choose that or not to do that. So just a moment, it, it can take some time uh, to load because of your, depending on your network. So mine is not good this morning. That's why it's taking a little bit longer to, to load.
So uh, uh, for those of you who are joining in late, I, 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 I'm just also going to take some questions. If you have any challenge completing your project for tomorrow's presentation, and you have to, to register, I don't know whether everyone registered uh, to present, you register your project. I'm going to share with you the link one more time here and uh, to just be sure that you're going to present and we allocate time for you. There will be some judges that you will be presenting to, and they will be selecting people who proceed to the, to the finals. I'm also going to share with you some people who have already gone to the finals from the machine, machine learning class, and also sharing with you some of the upcoming uh, projects. So when you click on uh, create, you come here to file. For example, now you already have your, uh, your game or your project on the computer and uh, on the phone. So you just click on uh, load from your computer. When you click file, you will see load from your computer just uh, down here. So I click load. Uh, so I, I see Trevor's hand is up. Let me just complete this, then I get to you. So when I, my projects are in download, so I'll just look for them here. And there we go. I have a, uh, scratch project four and then i just load it like that or let me let me load a different project let me load load from your computer and i just want to load project here okay so let me load my calculator here. And then I click OK here. And I should be able to see the project that I saved initially on my computer coming here. Now, after your project coming, uh, you just need now to click on the share here because it already has a name. So I'll just click on share. Share is this uh, orange button here. You will always see it when you're already signed in. And when I click share, they are going to first be saving my project to the internet. And then you're going to see this platform here coming up. You can, you have to put the instructions of how someone needs to play your, your, your game. So you can say, press the game card and uh, plug and then answer the prompts. Just like that. And then you, uh, okay, the link is taking a hundred years to load. Uh, it's okay, you can try out maybe sometime, uh, sometime later. Yes, please. Let me now. Uh, me, I, had, I typed in. I, I, I typed in a username. I typed it. Me, it didn't, it didn't let me in. You typed in the username uh, and your password, which you created. Did you, did you use your, did you first create a password before? Uh, when you follow that link, you have to first put in your username. Yeah, I typed in the username and then the password, but then it didn't let me in. Maybe the username that you... you... So this is the link for, for child. It's, so, it's, so, it's even already on the, on, the, on the poster. Child register. The same link that you use to register is the same link you can send your friends to also register for the same program. And I also want to share uh, the, the one for machine learning, uh, the one I've been show, showing you the video, which is, uh, um, it's called Design Labs. So these are design labs and uh, it's not uh, going to be so much of scratch. This time around, it's going to be so much of wiring and connecting as you've been seeing in that video. And for this, this you have to pay. 
and um, you don't have to pay the whole amount at once, but you can pay in installments. It's going to be happening from 2nd uh, second September to, to 8th September. And the link to register is bit.ly stroke MIS labs. So let me also share that in the chat before uh, we proceed. Uh, dot so bits dot otherwise talk mis labs sorry i just sent that to only one person let me share with everyone so that's the link then uh after this workshop uh we are now going to, this is going to be online but then after this uh, online workshop, we are uh, teaching you now how to do the designs and also to create the circuits or put together the components using our, our lab, uh, lab platform, which is online. Then we are going to move on to the physical trainings, which we are going to have online. It's going to be both online and also sending a tutor to your home for those of you who will sign up uh, to now start the physical development of robots and uh, which you can even present and they work fine. So this is, uh, if this is going to be happening almost for the whole month uh, from 9th to 23rd September. And uh, it involves a home tutor and also online. Some classes will be online and some we shall be sending a tutor to your home because this involves uh, and now programming a real robot and putting components together, which you cannot do alone when you're guided on online. So we shall be sending a mentor. To apply for this, you have to be staying around Kampala, Mokono, Wakiso, and Entebbe. So we are dealing with only four, only four districts for now. And you can, to apply to, you have to buy a kit. The smallest kit is uh, at 385,000. If you can convince your parents to buy for you, it's you buy once and you can be using it. Can't it doesn't work on only one project, but if you can work on so many projects, uh, the tools are in there. We shall be showing you what uh, what tools are in in that uh, in that kit when we start the design labs next week. So to apply for this as well, and uh, it's a, it's a for it's the cost for this is three hundred and fifty thousand which is also paid in installments. So the link is a uh, bit.ly stock robots, robotic hubs, robotics hub, yeah. So let me share that in the chat and then we, I think that's all. Then the last one, the last one is the one that some of you have been part of. Uh, some of you have been attending the machine learning class. So this is the machine learning uh, class, which is going to be online. And we basically, it's related to Scratch, but just that you can, you can train artificial intelligence systems using it. And this one is it. So this one is starting on third, but the time differs. So they don't contradict, all of them don't contradict. But we encourage you to sign up for only one or two, two of them, such that you don't do a lot of stuff at the same time, which can confuse you. And this is going to be online. If you are a, a tech enthusiast and a, you love robotics, then this is a, a one week program for you. And the link to apply for this one is, uh, let me share in the chat. Uh, Jaden says not working bit.l. Let me let me just confirm, but it should work. Let me just get those links how they are from. Uh, those links have to work when uh, when you click on them after after the class. So let me let me reshare it. So that's the link uh, for the robotics uh, class. You can follow this one. Then let me share the one I had shared before. That was for, 
MIS labs. This is the one I, I was sharing before. Now I'm going to share this one here, which is uh, which is the latest. The one for only machine learning. It doesn't involve robotics because uh, and uh, you can also sign up if you want to make uh, things like uh, uh, the chatbots, if you want to make robots which think, but for them, they will be made on the computer. They won't be made physically, like the, the, uh, the physical robotics class. Then the link for that, the link for that is here. So that's the link for uh, for that. Then the link for the Scratch Cohort 3. Let me get the link for Scratch Cohort 3. Child register is here. So that's for cohort three. So in case you have any questions, let me take some questions now before we start over with today's class. I see MST, MST Junior School. Uh, you can unmute, please. Just unmute and uh, let me hear what you have to say. Excuse me, teacher. You say that you don't have to do machine learning alone. I think that you don't have to do okay. Here is what I said. If you want to participate, uh, okay, let me show. If you want to participate uh, in the physical robotics class for the mentor, then you have to sign up for for this one for the circuits designer as well because we shall first do circuits design and uh, then before we proceed to the physical robotics class. So, but if you're not signing up for the physical, you can only sign up for this and also learn how to design them. Then when you get the chance to buy the kit in the in the future. You can also enroll uh, in our robotics classes, which will be happening every month. Then uh, this other class for the mach for machine learning, for it, it doesn't require any robotics kit. And just to repeat, uh, this class here doesn't uh, require a robotics kit. Let me see where I can share it. You don't require a robotics kit to sign up for this, it's only the physical class which requires the robotics kit. You don't require to buy a robotics kit to, to sign up for this, uh, for this camp. You only require to buy a robotics kit if you're going to sign up for this class that I'm going to share, uh, the AI summer camp. That's the one you have to have a, uh, a robotics kit before, it can work, before you can sign up or before it can work for you. So if you're signing up for this, then you will uh, at some point require to buy a robotics kit for only this uh, for only this camp here. And you also don't require a robotics kit if you're going to- This year for how many people? What do you mean by for how, which one? Which one are you meaning? You have just shown us right now. Okay, this, uh, you mean the total number of uh, people we are going to admit? Yes. Okay, this one we are only going to admit a maximum, uh, for this, uh, for this we are going to admit a maximum of 15 people uh, because uh, we want, uh, and those people have to be residing around Kampala, around uh, Mukono, Entebbe and Wakiso districts. The rest can wait until we open up our hubs in other districts with, when lockdown is lifted because some of the universities are still closed. And uh, the rest Excuse of Excuse me, teacher. Yes? Teacher, what about Kampala? Yeah, Kampala is open. You can apply if you're in Kampala, if you're in Wakiso, if you are in uh, 
Entebbe, and if you are in Mukono, you can any place which is around Kampala and we can send our tutor to your home, then you can apply for it. Why we want people who are close? Because we don't want our tutors to travel out of the district to far distances, uh, just uh, to deliver the workshop. Any, question, any other question? I see Trevor's hand is up. Teacher. Yes. Excuse me, teacher. Yes, please. I'd like to know how much the kit is the least kit, the smallest one. The smallest kit is at 385,000. And it has all the tools that can start your, your robotics. Just that if you want to do, if you want to design artificial intelligence systems like robots which work like human beings, it's only the kit which is at 895, which, which has all the tools for that. But you can always upgrade, by the way, you can buy uh, the smallest kit. Then when you get money in the, in the future, when we start, uh, when you want to now do artificial intelligence, then you can, uh, you can just buy the extra tools which are in the other bigger tool. And then you don't have to buy again a new kit, which is bigger. So right now you can buy a smaller kit, then you'll be, it will be able to be upgraded in the future. How about the, 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 the kit, which is CC kit, kit basic, the one for 580? Uh, that one has more tools than the, uh, the bigger one, but it has a limited, you can only do like one, artificial one or two a few like five a maximum of five uh, artificial intelligent projects but it has many many you know with robotics and ai they are uh, if you're going to make so many projects you will need sensors more sen more sensors you need more tools so this is a little bit bigger than this one this one you, you can just make a few projects basic basic projects but uh, with this one, you can uh, make a little bit advanced projects. And this last one, you can make all the projects. And, uh, but for this one, you can make uh, projects like it's a self-driving car, because it even comes with a four-wheel, a four-wheel, uh, I think, uh, car, which you can program. And also other sensors and other tools and other boards, like we are going to show you if you sign up for the design, uh, the design labs next week. Teacher. Yes. The number below is it where we can call to get more information? Yes, yes. This number below you can call to get more information, and uh, you you only pay when the, me, when, you uh, see when you have received the the. So you order, then they will bring the kit to your home and then you can make payments from home. You don't have to send money via mobile money for this kit. You just have to place an order and maybe you so pay where do they, because, I think, do you buy it thousand before it can be sent to you. They will bring, you don't have to, if you can access uh, Makere University, it will be very hard for you to enter, but uh, we can deliver it to your home if you are around those districts that you we have mentioned. And then you make the payment from home when you've seen uh, when you've seen the kit uh, before. So you don't have to pay for something you've not seen. That's why we encourage after paying a deposit of around 50,000, then they will bring the kit to your home before you can make the, the remaining uh, installment. Any other question? I see. Uh, yeah. Yes, please. I finally shared my the some my project on Scratch, and I wanted to ask you how to how to to share it to to uh, to to uh, to 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 uh, to, uh, to, uh, to uh, students to our games to be. How to share it with the what? How to share it to a game studio. Oh, 
Okay, let me let me just get for a link for for, for that. Just a moment. And uh, it's coding unlimited. Okay. So let me get to my scratch here and I show you, let me just stop sharing this. You can always ask more questions in the chat later. Let's try to now get back to our class. And uh, maybe I'll also take some last questions and then uh, the rest will come later. So my friend was asking, uh, how do we get the project here? So after signing in, you just click on create here. And uh, sometimes it takes time to load because of the internet. So you click on a uh, file, then load from your computer. And uh, you just look for your project. Mine is in downloads. That's why I'm going to. Yes. Yes. I've already done that. So I just need you to know how to add it to uh how to add my project to okay so after yes. on share, how, did you click did you click share here yeah i click share okay so let me also click share so after this now after putting the instructions and also putting your notes you come here i think here where they say add to studio yeah i'm saying it yeah, so after sharing your project, then you click on Add to Studio. Then Coding Unlimited is going to come here. Then you click on it and you press OK. It will be shared in the studio. OK, teacher. Yeah, so also to get some, let me share also a link for you to get some. Uh, this is the link to get some more guidance on that. And uh, so let me, I see, let me see. Uh, other questions here in the chat, but before I see Alex, uh, Trevor and Alexander, I see your hands up. Let's start with Trevor. I'm just going to give uh, a few questions. Uh, if you ask, then I can proceed. Okay, I have no complaint. All right, uh, all right. Okay, so now uh, let me share my scratch, and then we. Try to look at. Uh... So last week, last weekend we were looking at. Uh... Sorry, my screen is not yet shared. Last week we were looking at how to, to make. Uh... Okay, I see MST. I don't know MST Junior School. Please uh, unmute before I proceed. Is it okay to make a conversation? For a final project? Yes. Uh, it's okay if the conversation is uh, aligning with the, with the categories that we shared with you. If you didn't get the, the details or the guidelines, then you can send us a WhatsApp and we send you the guidelines or send us an email and we shall send you the guidelines. Okay, thank you, teacher. So we were looking at, we were emphasizing last week that uh, you can make your project, have a sign up, uh, a sign up and sign in, and then to connect, uh, can connect your project to your, to your game or your, uh, your login page to your, someone has to log in in order to access your project or your, your game. And I want also to get some people who got challenges with that. So before I proceed, I saw Eliora. Eliora, do you want to ask something? Just unmute and uh, then ask. Teacher, is it okay? Eliora, you're muted. Teacher, is it okay? Is it okay if you do what? If the game is educative, and the game is going, it has impact, it has a way it helps people, then it's okay, you can make the game. Of course, there's that part for entertainment as well when you read the guidelines. So it's okay to make a game. 
but you have to make a game which is so good because it's going to be a competition and only only three people are going to be selected to go to the finals. So any other question before we proceed? I see MST, please unmute. MST Junior School. Excuse me, teacher. Next week on Saturday, what are we going to do? Next week on Saturday, we are going. People who will be selected tomorrow to go to the finals. Week on Saturday, we shall be having the finals, uh, where we shall be selecting the best innovator of the month who will receive now the prizes. You are not taken to the finals. Uh -huh. You are not chosen. If you're not to the finals, the finals, you're going to be starting another class, which is the Ignite class, which is which is that? It's called the Ignite class, Ignite program, which is a little bit uh, advanced than this uh, workshop we have been having. So it's going to be like a professional bit of uh, coding with Scratch before you start coding Python and also HTML and those designing websites. That's what happens in the launch. And uh, and also the ignite stage of the program. If so, you don't go to the finals, can you go to robotics? Yeah, yeah. If even though you don't go to the finals, you can sign up. Robotics, anyone can sign up for the robotics class. And you don't need to have, even you can invite your friends. You don't have to have uh, studied scratch to do the robotics because uh, it's not going to be so much of scratch. And we shall uh, be guiding you from from scratch how to uh, from uh, first principles how to how to design them. Okay. 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 I see Hadassa. Hadassa, yo, is it Hadassa? It's Mina. It's Mina. Mina, your your hand is up. My question is that, like, if what happens if like you fail to just one time? Why, do, why would you fail to register on time? You have given you enough time. You can even register before completing your project. You get. You can register now as long as you know what name you will give your project, then uh, you register. And also you can register today and then tomorrow you have a different project name, then you can re-register again. But you have to first register to, to let the organizers know that you're going to be presenting and then they allocate time to you. Okay, so another question is that, um, like according to the message you sent, we're supposed to like invite people to like vote. Uh, is it still okay if you send the link to to your friends? Yeah, you can send a link to your friends to anyone. We are going to send the Zoom link today for you to share with your friends to come and vote for you tomorrow. Okay, thank you, teacher. Welcome. So, how many of you want? I, I, I. If you want us to go through a game, or I want to see how many people want to us to go through the scratch uh, to make a scratch game project, or we, I should teach you how to make PowerPoint slides. So just type in the chat if you want us to learn uh, PowerPoint, how to design your PowerPoint for presentation tomorrow, or if you want. Uh, so basically, what we are going to be doing today. You, you guys are going to ask me what you want to learn, what you, are, you want to do in Scratch and you fail, you don't know how to do it, then I'm going to teach you how to do it. So, or if you want us to go through how to design a PowerPoint, you can also say that, and then we take some few minutes to teach you how to make a PowerPoint, then we can, you can also ask and you say, you can be like, I want to develop maybe this kind of game and I want ideas, I don't know how to, you don't have to ask for ideas, but you tell us that you failed to do this, then I'm going to teach you how to do it. So let me, before that, let me see Jesse. Jesse, please unmute. I see Jesse's hand is up. Teacher, are we going? Are we gonna do the scratch lesson? Today, yeah, today we are going to do the scratch lesson. Okay. All right. Then let me also give Mina. Mina, I see your hand is up. I think that's the last. Uh, 
So I see Jaden in the chat saying, uh, we do the game and the PowerPoint. Okay. So let's hear from Mina before we proceed. Okay. So uh, let me first uh, show you around how, how many of you can use the my blocks here. We wanted to use uh, to show you how to use my blocks to summarize your code. And my blocks is, uh, is always used when you have, uh, first of all, you want to use some blocks of code which are not in, in Scratch by making them. And second of all, sometimes when you're writing uh, code, you realize that uh, your code is occupying the whole screen and yet this same code, you're going to have to use it over and over again. Oh. So what we always do, uh, we use a, my blocks is called a function. So I need you to understand what the function does before even you go to the ignite stage to start learning about advanced languages like Python. A, a function is a kind of a program which, is a, which can be called in another program and then it does uh, the things. Uh, if you want it even to do that thing, 10 times, it can do it 10 times by just writing one block of code. For example, if I, if I just make, let me make one, one uh, block here and I'm going to call it, uh, and let me see, I'm going to call it draw, let me, let me just draw, I don't want, did we study how to draw shapes? Just remind me, did we study how to draw shapes? Triangle, rectangle, those shapes. Do we did we learn? Yes, please. <laughs> so now we already know how to use this. So I just want to use an example. Uh, let me see if I wanted to make a block which makes the cut run. So I just say run here, and uh, then I add input here which is going to be the number of steps. So I can add input here and I just call these steps. And then I'm going to press okay. So this, at this point here now, uh, this is going to be this is going to be the program. So when I come to motion and I say move, uh, how many how many steps should that be? So let me go and create a variable as well, and I just call the variable steps. So Caesar, you can stop annotating for now. So I create. So I say move those number of steps. This is now the program. And after that, the next thing I'm going to do is to, to get to go to the control and then I get the forever here. And I can say, repeat, I get the repeat here. And it's going to make the to repeat 10 times uh, the movements. So let me see if I go to the events and I say when green flag is clicked, what I want to do is to, to go back to the to the blocks and I just run. And instead of uh, here, let me say, uh, initially I'm going to just set, so I go to variables and initially I'm going to set steps to, to maybe one step and repetitively it's going to be changing, changing steps. So let me just put here changing steps by by one. Oh. Mm. 
So then I'm going to come to my, so I'm running. This, I, I want to show you what this, uh, this will do. If I just leave it here, it will do, it will make the movement because, and if I also have another block. So this means that I can, this is a function which I've defined. And even if I got maybe another, another block here, so I'm just do, doing this as an example. Let me first get it back by going to motion and then uh, selecting the set rotation style. I just want to explain what functions do. And then if on edge bounce here. So, and uh, so here, if I had another block here, which says if, now this one just makes it to go from left to right. And I want to make another instruction, which is going to use this same block to make it to now maybe rotate around. So when the space bar is clicked, I'm going to, uh, so I'm going to say when, when space is clicked, I'm going to glide. This time I just want to glide to a random position. So let me show you. When I click the, the same cut wheel, so I'm using in the same project, oh, so many projects, I can have so many events, but they all rely on this program, which is called a function. So from today, a function is just like, uh, you can have, uh, let me say, uh, the other time I used the textbook example, this time I don't want to use it. So the example I want to use here is, <laughs> you can create a recipe and this recipe is going to be used by 10 cafeterias. So like 10 cafeterias are using the same recipe and that recipe in programming is called a function because it's able to be used, uh, some 10 people can be able to use it at the same time. So this is now a function. Let me get another, another. So when I also say that when later, B is clicked. When letter B is clicked, I want you to change look to change our costume. So let me say, uh, I go to control and I get the forever. And then I just switch costume while moving. Costume. So let me see when I press B. When I press B, it starts uh, switching costumes. Let me also put maybe a, a weight. So this is how you can make your project, your project actually to be realistic by just modifying, or maybe you see when it reaches some point, it can, you always see in animation movies, <laughs> it reaches some point and then it turns and then maybe it starts talking and then maybe the clothes change, the costumes change. So you can be using uh, this, by, uh, I also showed you how to use uh, broadcast by saying in the same project, when you already have your function here, you can always uh, say when, after broadcasting, of course, then you say when I receive maybe this kind of, of message, I'm going to switch costume to this uh, particular question. So before I proceed, I see some questions in the chat. Isabella says, uh, how can I make my wizard stay in the witch's house and let the, uh, the wolf move, but with without uh, removing the wizard. I just don't. Maybe if you want to share your screen, and I see how your wizard is is looking like, then I can be able to understand your question. Just confirm by raising up your hand. And then I see Jaden. What is the number for zero uh, seven done for signing for the? Now, if you want to know more about the programs, then you can call on that number or you can send us a WhatsApp using that number, Jaden. So I also see What's number? the number that I shared in the chat, the one uh, Jaden has, uh, has just shared. Maybe if I can just share it one more time. So I also see Alexander, you have a question. Please uh, unmute. Uh, so Again, 
Okay, okay, it's okay. So let's uh let's proceed. Now the the other thing I wanted to highlight. Uh I see Haley. Haley, you have a question. Maybe you can type in the chat or just uh, unmute. So what we were talking about is uh the function, and I think at this point I'm going to you have understood. If you have if you haven't understood how to use a function. And uh, you can also let me know, but I want to move on to something uh, something else. So uh, Haley says, I will have to leave early for something. It's okay. Uh, we can always share with you the recorded, uh, the recorded video. Now, before we proceed uh, with Scratch, I also want to share uh, how to build a PowerPoint for my project because now that's what is really important for tomorrow. The judges will also be looking at uh, how to, uh, how you've designed your PowerPoints. So let me just share my PowerPoint here at the moment. So this is my, this is my PowerPoint. And I want to just show you how to start over. So let me just start with the blank. Uh, with the blank, the blank PowerPoint. Sorry if I, if, if some people are not. Okay, so I, I will just click uh, create here. And when you click create, you're going to see something like this. So how do you make your PowerPoint to look uh, nice? So they always give me some guidelines here, but I don't need them uh, for now. Now, this is what you see. So what I would do if I were you, I would first uh, delete this title here by just clicking on it and then click delete or right click on it. Then uh, you look for cut, which is here, then you remove it. So that you have now a blank white screen like this. And you have to choose your background color of the of the PowerPoints that you're building. So you right click on the on this screen. The first thing to do, by the way, is to be to make the background color to choose the background color or background picture of your of your project of your presentation. So I will just click on format format background here and. You can either put a picture. For me, I don't want to put a picture. And for now, you should not put a picture. You will just uh, click where you see color here. This means that the background color. And when I click here, I can just choose maybe to, what's my favorite color? Uh, purple is my favorite color. So I choose that color. And so this is going to be my background color, even though I may be, uh, sorry. So even though I duplicated. Now, if I want more slides of this, if I don't want to repeat the same thing. And uh, so someone is asking, where do we go to start the PowerPoint? You just type in the chat, uh, type in the start button. I don't know which device you're using, but you just search for PowerPoint as is PowerPoint, then you're going to be able to open PowerPoint. So let me type in the chat for Isabella. So you just type in the chat PowerPoint, then you will be able to, uh, to see PowerPoint. Or you can ask for your guardian to direct you where PowerPoint is on your device. If you're using a phone, you are going to search for, let me, let me just share this, uh, the screen for, for people who are using phones at the moment. Okay, I will share that after explaining this. I'm also going to share how you can do it on the phone. So you don't have to worry for if you're using a phone. Let me first finish the explanation for the, for the computer, then I'll come to mobile phones. So after this, the thing I'll do to design my, I just come to insert, 
to insert a shape. There are shapes here. And uh, uh, so the ones which are given, so I'm going to come to, to come back to you, Nina. Let me first talk about this. So the, I want a shape. So I'm going to choose a shape, which is maybe a triangle here. <laughs> There's a triangle here. And I will just come and draw my triangle like that. And then I come and insert another, insert another shape, which is now a square. And then I come where the triangle is ending here. I'll just come and uh, make a square like this with the same color. And then I remove outline. Sorry if I'm going fast. This is this is shape fill. If you want to change the color of the of your shapes, you can just click on shape fill here. Then you choose the color that you want it to be. For example, if I wanted it to be white, I choose white like that. Then this is to remove the outline, the color of this line, which is covering the color. Or you can just click no outline. I always prefer no outline. And so let me just change another color. White is not appealing. Let me choose that. Then I also want to have this triangle the same color with, uh, with this, such that it can form some kind of a rhombus. So I remove the outline first of all, and then shape fill. I just click on shape fill such that. Now, <laughs> this is unique because there is no shape, which I've come up with my own shape. And my power, don't, don't make your PowerPoint so complex. It has to be simple. And this is a just simple enough to uh, to make the audience excited to see what I'm what I'm making, what I'm going to tell them. So after this, then I can right click on this slide here. Then I duplicate such that I don't have to repeat the. I can even duplicate and have five slides since I need five slides for my presentation. So I duplicate duplicate slide is here and I have five slides which are the same. Your background has to be the same for all the slides. And now you want to add uh, the title. So I just click on uh, insert and then I'll come to insert uh, text which is around here, text box, which is here. You will always see it around here. So when I click on this, I just come and I draw. You click, left click on your computer or long press on your phone. Then you just make the shape as small as that. After making the shape, you come to home. And uh, you just change the font. If you want to change your font, I always prefer to use a uh, area round mount for titles. And then I want to choose uh, the, the font size has to be above 30. So if you if, if if it's going to be a headline, you don't want it to be uh, very small because the audience is going to be looking at your slides and they are going to be reading your titles. You want them not to strain their eyes. And uh, in so doing that, you have to make this above 30. So 36 is good enough for my title. This is now maybe my, my slide, I can just call it, change the color to, this is for changing color where you see A and it's red. So I click on it and I change it to white. And I will just say, this is my introduction about me. I like how Eliora the other time called it about me. So I can also call my about me. And I just center it like that. It has to be centered. And to center it, you have to move it until you see that red line coming, which shows you that it's in the middle. Your titles have to be in the middle of the slide, but above like that. So after this, uh, about me, then I can add, I can come to insert another text box. So I click on insert, then I go to text box, which is here. And I just make it now here. And I just put name, 
So it has to be white for the color to be seen very well. I come back to home and I change this to white. So I say name. And then I just put uh, those columns. You will see them on your keyboard. And I highlight this. You write, to highlight, you, pre, you press, uh, you just uh, press shift and then the left arrow to highlight what is here. If you get a challenge, you let me know, then you click on this B. This B is to make it bold. If you are a computer wizard, you will just click Control B to make it bold. Control on your keyboard, then letter B on your keyboard, then it will be made bold. Those are shortcuts if, if, you're, if you're a wizard. So then I increase the font for this also to at least 28. And then I'm going to call myself, my name is Solomon. Um, blah, blah, blah. Then you add the details that it should not have a lot of words. So many of you always put a lot of words on the slides. <laughs> we don't want so many of the words. Sometimes you, you need to just summarize what you're going to say and write it on the paper for each slide. If you're going to say, introduce yourself uh, on the first slide, you can write on a paper somewhere. The judges should not know that you're reading them from the paper. And the judges should not know that you're, you're reading whatever you're, you're presenting, you're reading it from the slides. Your marks will be little if you're reading what is on the slides. You should not read what is on the slides. Me, what, when I'm presenting, I always use the trick, uh, especially when I'm, uh, I'm, I'm in for competitions. I always just have my notebook. And the first page, if, it's, uh, if I'm going to be talking about the problem or my project, I write whatever I'm going, to, I write my speech on a paper. <laughs> Such that sometimes, uh, even though you put on your, even though you put your screen, uh, your video on while presenting, the 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 judges should not notice that you're reading from the paper, from a book. You can put your paper somewhere down, or maybe besides your computer or your phone, and you can just be. If you forget something while presenting it, you can just be looking at uh, what your uh, the outlines or maybe the key points to trigger your memory such that you can continue with your speech. You should not just read whatever you've written down. It should just be outlined to help you trigger your memory and continue with your presentations. So let me just now to highlight that after my, my about me, let me go to this other page, uh, which uh, let me just copy this. To copy this, you just click on it, then control C or you right click it and you copy. Then you come to the second slide and you copy about me. But now this time around, it's not going to be about me. It's going to be the problem. So if your project is about children suffering, maybe blind children, no, let, let me not use that. Maybe children suffering to read. You just come to Google. Let me, let me, uh, okay, let me just share. I'll come back to, to your questions, don't worry. So I come to google.com here, as you can see. Then you just type in here. Anything which is related to your project, you'll be able to get the best picture. So I'll say children can't read. So I'm developing a project for children who can't read. Children can't read, then you press enter. And then. After entering, you click on images. Google will always give you some images related to what you've searched here. So I click on images. And uh, under images, I will look at, I always prefer black children. So to just show my audience that I'm my users, I'm really considering my users here. So I'll just say black children here. And then black children. So I'll get a picture which really shows that a child like this one, the child is bored reading, or maybe I can get a, a nice picture which shows the problem. So let me look for a picture here. You can just scroll down and look for the pictures which can show what you want. So because of time, I think I will not go, I'm not going to scroll. Uh, to finish all the images here. Let me just take this guy here. And 
after taking this guy here, oh, this guy is also making uh, making sense. So I showed you the other time how to save, but, but this one is not a little bit clearer. You have to get a picture which is clear. That's the picture. I'm, okay, it's now clear. So you click on, right click on this image, and then you click on save image as. You get, after highlighting the picture like this, you click on save image as, and I just call it problem, because it's going to be my, my image for the problem. So then I come back to my slides here and I come to insert, click on insert and go to pictures. Pictures is already here. So when I click on pictures, they will say photo browser or picture from file. So you select picture from file, which is the second here. I don't know how it will appear on your device. And uh, then problem is, is here. So I click, because it's in my downloads, I went to downloads and then I selected it. Then I click insert. <coughs> and then my picture comes. So sometimes if you if you have an account with Microsoft, it's going to be giving you some ideas here. For example, if I use this as, uh, they give you also some ideas to choose from, which are so appealing. And some of them you can actually make them. And in the next class, uh, we shall teach you how to create a Microsoft account we, where you will be able to, uh, to, get, uh, to get these ideas. They can always give you some recommendations. So let me, I don't need their recommendation. So let me just go back to where I was. Let me turn off this. Okay. So this is where I was. I had my picture here. And now, since you have your picture here, your picture should not be at the edge. You never put the picture to start from the edge of the slides. The picture should be a certain distance away from the edge of the slides, like that. And uh, you don't have to, if you want to make it occupy the screen, you don't have to use this by making it. The picture will be uh, disoriented and it will look awkward. What you do, if you want to enlarge the picture, I don't know how to remove this thing. Still giving me hard time. So this is uh, uh, you. If you want to enlarge the picture, you just click on picture format here, or you just double click on the picture. Then it is going to take you to the picture format here. And under picture format, you will see this uh, crop, then height, and then width it here. So you have to tick to lock aspect ratio. So if I don't tick this and I just increase the height, it's only the height which is going to increase and it's going to disorient my picture. So let me undo that. And then I select, uh, you have to click on this box, which is just uh, in, the, in between the height and the width. When you click it, it means you're locking the aspect ratio. And when you increase the height here, uh, when you increase the height, sorry, by just clicking this, it will be increasing even the width increases together and the picture doesn't lose uh, quality or it doesn't lose uh, orientation. So I have my picture like that. And uh, let me just make it occupy. And I told you not to make it uh, to be at the edges like that. So it can just be a little bit like that. From this stage here, uh, like here. And this time round, I want to right click on it and just make it send backwards. Don't put send to back, but put send backwards. Or you can put a click on your shape here and then bring the shape in front, bring to front, and then bring the triangle also to front. Bring to front. You, when you right click and follow through down, you will see this uh, bring to front and send to back. So I choose bring to front and then I make it to, uh, to come in front here. And this time around, I just want to move this, this side here. And then also move this, this side. And I bring my picture 
So to crop the picture, you click on crop under picture image, crop here. And under crop, you will be able to, let me remove this. You will be able to change, just cut off what you don't want to be seen such that your image is not too big. And then you click on crop here. So my image can now be moved somewhere here. And it should be a little bit, this part here should be covered by your rubric or maybe your design such that someone doesn't just, if you just put your picture somewhere here and someone sees this is too basic because they know that the picture is actually starting from here and you just got the pictures and threw them on the slides. No, you have to hide the edge such that it appears as if the picture is continuing inside and you have something like that. Then instead of having your problem here, you can now put your problem. Sorry, let me just bring it in front by right clicking and saying bring to front like that. Then you bring your problem here. This is also another design. If you don't want to put your problem uh, above here, you can also just put it here. And don't put words here. <laughs> now, in this case, you can now talk about this guy. You say, you can say, now this is, this is Trevor. Trevor loves to read, but the notes are too complex for him. You get, that's how you can talk about the slides. You don't, I'm not writing the problem here. I've not written that maybe the problem is, this is boring. It's a little bit basic when you grow up. Uh, maybe the problem is, so if, if you wanted to say the problem is children get bored while reading, science subjects, don't write it on the slides, write it in your notebook. Get an exercise book. Uh, for me, I have, uh, I have my exercise book, which is, uh, I just bought an exercise book, which you can see here. This is my exercise book where I always write my thing. When I'm presenting, I always read through uh, my exercise. I, I don't read through, but I have my points. Let me just uh, ensure that you're seeing this. Uh, so let me share, show you, show you some. So when you see in my in my notebook, in my notebook, sorry, if you can't see, let me just turn off this. Hold on. Okay, that should work. So you see in my notebook, I have, uh, the, when I put number one, that is slide one. Those are, that's the summary of what I want to talk about slide one. And then number two is the summary of slide, slide two. And when I go to the next page, maybe let me share another page here, which is a little bit uh, talking about presentations. Okay, let's see if I have a, uh, Another slide. Yeah, so I have another another one here. So this is uh, having my slide ten and slide eleven. But for you, you have to end on slide uh, slide on slide five. So what I always do, I I know it's normal to forget while presenting, so you don't have to cram everything. So while I'm talking about the problem, I can write down this and say the problem is it's written on my paper. So while I start presenting, I have my paper or my book close to me. And I'm just, when I try to forget what I had memorized, I can just look uh, where I had said slide two. And I talk about that slide and I, it triggers my mind to remember what I had written. So I continue, I say the problem is, so this is not included on the slide, but I'm speaking about it. And people are not going to be reading your slides. People are going to be hearing what you're saying. So don't put a lot of words on your slides. You can just put the problem, the solution, and then you speak about it while you have noted it down on the paper. So before I proceed, I, I see uh, a question from Mina. Mina, unmute, and then I'm going to give a chance to Alexander and also Trevor. So let me just allow, enable you to unmute. You can unmute yourself, and then you ask your question. 
um, teacher, my, so what you're trying to mean that when we are making our slides, like instead of writing, my problem is then you write the information, like even if you don't write and you just speak, it's okay. Like you won't lose marks for that. Yeah, yeah. actually you only gain marks if you, you gain many marks if you have not written a lot of words on your slides. You get it? Even if like I write problem, like I write one word yeah. problem, like problem, um, boring problem that then I just. Yes, that's also fine. If I can say maybe problem, then under problem, and I say boring. This is okay. This is not too much. This is actually also advisable. Point, like I don't write so much. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You don't lose my, actually you get max. You can say, you can just get a an outline of the problem like that that's okay that is totally okay. and uh you gain marks actually for this because it's not so much and uh, it's uh, summarized and you're talking you have only one line only two lines only three lines on your slides but you're talking so much so we want you to do so much of the talking and not just to read what is here. and you may just write a few outlines on your slides just help you trigger you might all write them on your on your notebook. Does that help you, Mina? Okay, now let's uh, give a chance to Alexander. Alexander, please unmute. Like, if you don't want to paint your own, like your own. If I don't want to do what? Sorry, I missed you. I missed you, Mina. I didn't get what you said last. I was saying that um, if you don't want to like paint your own theme and like, and you said. that are given. I think I'm losing. I'm losing you. I'm, the network, you keep on breaking. Teacher, yes. teacher, can you now hear me? Yeah, I can now hear you. I was saying, I was saying that if you don't want to paint your own theme, and you also you don't want to use the ones which are in the, the PowerPoint, the PowerPoint that it already has, and you want to get like a, a different one, where do you get them from? Do you browse it or? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me try to show you how to browse, to browse them. So when I come here to Google, uh, I always use a. Uh, uh, there is this uh, paint. Is it called? Okay. Paint. So let me just get. Uh, just hold on. Paint slides. So I will say I will share with you. Just help, remind me. I will share with you a link for. But if you there is uh, another website which can give which gives you uh, a point place where to download those slides. So let me just say you can just say presentation slides, presentation slides, slides, template, free download, presentation slides, free downloads here, and then. Uh, you just come and look. Some of the sites are not good, so they don't give uh, better slides. That's why I'm looking for the one which I, I always use. So there is this Canva. Let me share with you a link for Canva. So you click on Canva. This one, this one can give you better slides, actually. Let me share with you this link in the chat. Uh, so that's the link to Canva. And when you come to Canva, you can just search. Some of them are here, as you can see. Uh, if it's education, let me click on education. If it's a pitch deck, what you're going to be doing for you, you're going to be pitching. So that's a pitch deck. So I click on pitch deck. And I can have so many ideas. Can just get an idea here or you can use a template here like maybe 
this one is paid. So you have to look for the one which is uh, free and uh, you can use filters for that. Let me, let me get, you come down, you scroll down and look for where they say free, price free. Then they are going to load those which are free. And for example, this is, uh, I can customize this one. It's free, so I click on it. And uh, I just click on customize. Yeah. Then you will be able to let it load and I show you how to download it. So it's taking a lot of time and uh, time is also going. But it should- uh, Excuse me, Chita. Yes. So this is what you're going to see. And then you can customize putting in whatever you want or you click on download here. Are you seeing this arrow which has a space here? You click on download and then it's going to click, uh, you come and choose here, select all, all slides, then click on this to select uh, it to be as, uh, so it can only allow you to, the, to download as a, that's the challenge. It only now allows you to download it as a, as a PDF, but it's okay. After editing, you can even edit your PowerPoint online here and put whatever you want to put, then go to the next slide, modify, remove what you don't like. Then after that, you can download it as PDF and you can, uh, you can uh, go to Google here and just type Google and then just say PDF to PPT converter. I always use it, that's why it comes here. So to PPT converter, and then you click on enter. Then I always use uh, uh, this one, the first one, which is small PDF. And after clicking, let me share with you this link as well for you to, to convert PDF to PowerPoint. After, after you getting your project from the Canva. So you just click on, Choose files here. Choose. Look for the PDF, which is maybe this, and then you it will be converted automatically. Yes, please. I want to just show the screen. Like so this slide have a lot of slides. So I was also going to ask you, like what do sorry, you're not clear enough. What do we have to do when we find out what the video is looking? I'm just... Can you come again? Your network is not clear, you're breaking. I was saying, hmm. I was saying, I was you that, what do, what do we have to do with the, uh, the PowerPoint slide? Like, the PowerPoint slides have to have a- Why are we, how are we going to use the PowerPoint slides and are we going to use them for? Uh, as I told you, you follow that YouTube link and see what happens in the presentations. I remember you presented, uh, for those of you who have, if, is it your first time to present? It's, it's not my first time, but it's my first time doing what you what. Okay. Now, uh, so you have, Mina, Mina, you're asking, you can't, uh, you can't work when it's PDF. So I, I'm going to share, you are going to use that link for small PDF to convert it to PowerPoint before you can, you can work on it. So just to get, uh, now, when we, we, we want five slides, so let me share, let me just first share the slides here. Uh, so sorry, then the, the, let me share the instructions. So let me get that email that we sent you, final project presentations. Let me share my screen. So this is what we wanted. <laughs> we want you to, 
uh, when you download the instructions, if you didn't receive this email, then also just tell me in the chat, send, your, send me your email or your WhatsApp number and I'm going to send you these guidelines right away. But <laughs> under slides, uh, so we require you to have five slides. I, I think we had indicated this. Everyone will have uh, a maximum of six minutes to present their projects, three minutes of PowerPoint presentation, two minutes of demonstrating uh, and explaining your project and one minute of answering questions from the judges. Then when you scroll down, you will see this, this guidelines. When I click on it, uh, these, are the, these are the areas. We want you to create a project under entertainment, <clears throat> under agriculture. Uh, you can choose one, you can choose one. Or if it has both of them or three, it's an added advantage or health, education, business, or innovations to address challenges uh, of people with disabilities or vulnerable groups. Now, when we come to how to make a PowerPoint, we want you to make a PowerPoint uh, presentation of your project, which is now talking about your project. And the first slide should have your name, your, your school, and then your class. So you don't have to put them there. You can put them there, then you talk about it. This is okay. Then your second slide should have your project title, the name and uh, the project name and the selected area. So you can, you can decide just to put one, a few words, and then you speak about this on your slides. And on the third slide, you want to know how your project works. You don't have to write how your project works on the slides. You can just put uh, a summary of uh, key points, and then you talk about, or oh, just put a picture of your project on the slide, then talk about how it works. Then on the first slide, we want you to tell us how your project helps people. So you can uh, put a, a picture or a few outlines, then you talk much about how it, uh, it helps people. Then the future plans of your project. Remember, you have only three minutes to, talk, to present your slides. So you have to time how many minutes or seconds you will spend on the first slide, on the second and the third, and also on the fifth. Yes, I had someone. Someone was asking. You have to put your age. No, 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 no. Do we have? Age? You don't. If you want, you can mention your age, but you don't have to write it there. Okay, you can put your age. It's also fine if you feel like you want to share it, but it's not a mandatory. You can say I am eight years old, and I want you to. Uh, I'm going to take this. Uh, you don't have to say, I want to present my project. <laughs> you say, how are you? You say, good, good afternoon. Uh, I'm Shakira and I'm eight years old. I go to school, to junior school, and I'm in class four, and I'm going to take you through Subiyo. Subiyo is a project, you get it, you have to follow the story. Subiyo is a solution to a problem which has been facing children, you get some, you just have to flow like me, but not like me. Good afternoon, if it's an afternoon. Good afternoon, I am Alexander, eight years old, and I'm from uh, Gayaza Girls School, High School. I'm in class six, and I'm going to take you through uh, Kawalet. Kawalet is all money solution in both schools. You get, that's how you can, you have to put down your, your, we call them the summary of your speech. Excuse me, teacher. Yes. Just saying that you're going to show us how to use PowerPoint on phone. Okay, let me do that. Let me do that. Let me just uh, connect my phone. In the I just ask for you borrow me five minutes to conclude because it's already time and. Uh, so let me connect my phone. Where is my small phone? For my don't have PowerPoint, so how should I do? I can show us. Yes, I'm going to show you everything. You don't have to work. Okay. Is that a phone? No, it's not. <laughs> it's not a phone. Let me share. I'm going to just join using my phone. I want to join this call using my phone. Let me get the link for this Zoom call.
the link is here. Just get me to join using my phone. So I send the link to my phone. As I'm still doing that, I see so Trevor, Alexander, Jaden, Mina, uh, MST Junior School. I like your backgrounds, they are black and uh if you're putting now your video on someone will not be distracted with what is in the background you see for me when i'm putting on my video i can go to uh to the filters here and i have a black background such that my video is clear or i just put to blur my screen like that when i put an image so i'm so happy that you guys can be able to actually change this so let me I'm just trying to buy time before as I'm loading my Zoom call, but now it has already loaded. And uh, I want to join using my phone. So let me turn on my phone. I'm going to give everyone a chance. Just keep your hands up. If you want to have a question, just keep your hand up as I'm also loading my phone. So Isabella, if you didn't get the message, send me your email. If you didn't get the email, and if you didn't get the guideline, send me your email or WhatsApp right here on this Zoom call, then I'm going to send you at the end of this meeting. Just send me a private image via a message via Zoom. Uh, just go to chat, then select, uh, I think it's Makere Innovation Society, then send me, send me the message. So let me, I want to know your email or your, your phone number so I can send you. As I'm also joining my Zoom call here, using my phone. That should be it. So I see someone has, if you have a question, just unmute yourself as I'm still loading here. Excuse me, teacher. Teacher. <laughs> teacher? Yes, please. So, teacher? I wanted, to, I wanted to tell you that I want to just do like what, what does our project have to be about? And I also wanted to tell you that all the all the canvas slides that are that I've seen all have above five slides. Have a what? Okay, first of all, the guidelines. If you didn't get the guidelines to how to make your project, send me your email or WhatsApp, and I'm going to send to send them to you just like Jaden has done. Send me a private message. And then I'm going to send you the guidelines if you didn't receive the guidelines. You're breaking, I can't tell you. Okay, if you didn't receive the guidelines, then uh, send me a WhatsApp message or send me your WhatsApp number here or email, then I'm going to send you the guidelines. But you should check your emails, we sent everyone, or send check your WhatsApps, uh, WhatsApp messages. There's that uh, mm -hmm. message which has a title for project final project presentation guidelines. You should be able to see the guidelines there. Okay. So let me just share my screen now. Um, Excuse me, teacher. teacher. Yes, please. Teacher. Yes. When when you have passed in that in the first three, is it a must you must go to your next class? No, it's not a must. Are... If you feel like you want to go to the next class, you can go. If you want to just sign up for other programs, you can sign up. But the next class is always just be helping you to go and to become a better, a better, a better innovator. And to it's not only the top three who got the next class. The top three go to the finals, but we select everyone who presents. Everyone who presents a final project goes to the ignite of the training if they want. It's not only three people who go there. Okay. Okay. So now this is my screen, as you're seeing, this is my young sister's phone. So when I go, when I scroll down, I don't have, me I have office here, as you can see, WPS. So it's when you go to Play Store, let me go to Play Store. 
and I show you how to get office first of all. So Play Store, most of you have no Play Store because you've downloaded so many games I know. So I click on search where they search here and I just type office or I just say W P S office like that. Let me just even type it in the chat such that you can be sure. Yeah, once you send me your, your phone number or your email, I'll, be, I'll send you all the information and all the links. So just type WPS office. And I'm typing it in the chat, WPS office in your Play Store and then press enter like that. Then it starts searching. So it's this one. Let me first uninstall it. Let me first uninstall it such that I show you how to install it. So let me uninstall. I go to my apps here. Uh, I don't know that she signed in with her account, but uh, should be able to get back her work when I don't know that it will affect to affect their work. So office, office is here, so let me uninstall it such that I can show you how to install it. Now, if it's uninstalled like that, uh, when I come to my Play Store, after searching for it, it was, it's going to bring that part. You see, when I searched for it, uh, let me go back, WPS, just say WPS office. And I pressed search here, which is down here. And then it comes there. It has that W, as you see, this red W. Then just click on install. <coughs> then it's going to download it. <coughs> you can give it like one minute or two minutes. It should be done with the download. It's only 64 MBs. <coughs> and it comes with the office. It comes with PowerPoint, it comes with Excel. We shall be learning some of them in the future. <laughs> so uh, Jaden, you have to use, uh, if you are using, if, you, uh, if you're using a phone, you just have to go to Play Store. You don't have to go to any browser. But if you're using a Chromebook, then you also search in the, I think it also have, uh, it, they also have app, uh, app stores and you can search Office from there. Excuse me, teacher. Yes. When you go to the finals, what happens? The finals, if you're a winner, you become the best innovator of the month and there are prizes which we award. And all the people who go to the finals also get the experience to pitch to our, to our high, high, high class judges. So if you, even though you don't win, you get a certificate and also you get a badge if you've gone to the finals. But the rest will only get certificate and also a pass to go to the ignite stage but the person who goes to the finals get a what badge it's called a badge which is it's a verified badge you i think we shall get a chance to show to show you those badges when they are you get a digital badge and also uh a physical badge for the first the physical badge is given to the second first second and third it's just like a uh an award which you can wear i don't know how to i've forgotten the actual english uh, english word for it a medal it's kind of a medal stuff like that excuse so, me teacher yes Nina. um teacher can you please send the links of the over canava and small pdf because i don't think i can save them on the from the chat all right, I'm going to I'm going to send them. Just make sure you give me your email or, or your email, and I'm, and I'm going to send that. So sorry, my thing, but uh, it's about to finish installing. Then I've taken my, much of your time, and immediately I finish explaining how to use it on the phone in this discussion, and I let you prepare for the competition tomorrow. I think I should not have uninstalled. Teacher? Yes. Teacher, 
I want to ask a last, the last question eh? mm. that even if you've not gone through the finals, you can still move to the next to the next stage yeah. in engineering. To move to the next stage, you just have to present a very good project. Everyone who will have a good project tomorrow will move on to the Ignite stage. Oh, okay. Teacher, if you don't want to make a project. If you don't want to make a project. Yes. If you don't want to make a project, then you don't want to move to the next stage. We shall assume that you have not understood what we've been learning. Okay. Yeah. Excuse me, teacher. Yes, Alexander. I'm a bit confused with the issue of creating of creating a PowerPoint. I please come again. I, I kind of missed you. you. Slide. I'm getting it from Kansas. I said that can you help me? I say that I'm a bit lost where you mean creating PowerPoint slides, like like getting a slide from Canvas. So I wanted to ask you to, to explain the process of getting a slide again. All right. So I, I didn't say that you actually have to go to Canvas to, uh, it's only someone, I think uh, someone asked whether they can get them from the internet and that's why I recommended Canvas. But it's always good when you develop your own slides. It shows your creating and it makes you spend less time creating just the way you created my slides. They are simple, but I used only a few minutes to create them. Mm -hmm. So let me first finish explaining how to make the slides on the phone before I can now take you through through that. So I don't know why it's taking so much, so much time. Let's see. It's really taking a lot of time. Okay, so now it, so you click open and on clicking open, you agree, come and on agree here, to agree to, uh, to, to their tab. And then you come and click that WPS. You can still go through, this is, these are the things that you will be able to access uh, you'll be able to have access Word, PowerPoint, Excel, uh, PDF, and others. But then we are only interested in PowerPoint. So I click on uh, WPS, start WPS. By clicking this, I want to just, uh, and then you click on allow office to access media and files on your device. So I click allow because I will be getting some pictures from my phone. And then we are good to go. So what I, if I want to maybe start a project, I just click on this plus here. And it's going to ask me whether I want to create a document, PPT is PowerPoint. So I click on PowerPoint, PPT. And it shows, it comes with the blank. There are some suggestions here. Of course, there are templates you can use down here, but, uh, so you don't want to use the templates which are down, you just click on blank. And let me just make my font be in portrait such that uh, I can show you what I'm talking about. So I click on portrait here to make it auto rotate. And uh, then I just switch my phone like this. Okay, now that should be it. So this is now my PowerPoint. And it's the same thing that we were seeing in the, in the computer. We said, if I want to delete uh, this, I just long press it and I again click delete. If I want also to delete the tab, the, this other title, I long press on it, then I click delete. And if I want to now add uh, uh, shapes, I click on shapes here. And uh, the first shape I can I added was a triangle. And when I get a triangle here, I can increase the size of the triangle there 
to occupy the screen. Sorry, let me just go back here a bit and I make it go down like that, and also up like that. And then I got another shape, which is, uh, so this can be filled, you can choose tools, tools are here. Excuse me, teacher. Yes, Trevor. The presentation tomorrow, is it at the same time, like at 10? No, 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 no. Tomorrow the presentation is at 3 p.m. We shall send you a link for you the time for presenting. So, Excuse me, teacher. Yes. Excuse me, teacher. May you they give you the certificates or they bring it to you at your home? Okay, we give the certificates to which are digital and also the physical the certificates will be sent to your school when schools reopen. And also, if you want it so soon, then you can come to Makerere University School of Engineering when the university opens. But if you win the prizes, we send the prizes to your home and also your certificate to your home. And also, like for those who are going to participate in the, in the robotic class, you bought a kit and you, 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 we can also, while we are sending the kit, we can also bring your certificate. Uh, while bringing the kit to you. Okay. So, Excuse me, can may, may you repeat to show us how to open this file? Which file? Oh, I got lost. Which file? To make the slide, whatever. The computer on the phone. On the phone. Let me first finish uh, putting on the color here. If I choose this color here, and uh, maybe this color, and then if you don't want the outline, this is where I went. This is where I went to get the color. This last, this first, first tool here. I don't know how to just. Uh, this first, uh, just a moment. It's just someone has just joined. Who has just joined? Hey, Patricia. So it's here. So I click on these tools here. Are you seeing the first, uh, the, this first icon, which has something like, uh, which has something like two boxes and other two shapes, this four near the keyboard, then you will be able to access the colors. Now to change the outline, to change the outline, so I will click, I think I can't find the outline. Yeah. yeah. What was that something that you're telling us to do? That can it can the move, whoops, what? Okay, maybe others can mute. I'll give you a chance when uh, I'm done. So then I, I, I came to add another shape. To add another shape or a picture. So I need a shape. You can add a picture from by clicking picture or another shape, which is now maybe a rectangle. And then I just fill it the color. Just same thing we were doing. So this is how you add shapes. I'm not going to really arrange them. Then you can now arrange them the way I, I, I arranged. Then you click on, if you want to add another, some, some other stuff, just click on picture. Then you get a picture from your phone. So these are the pictures which are in my phone already. Uh, let me see if I can get a, an appropriate picture. Uh, so let me get a, a camera, just for my camera. And, uh, we look for nice pictures. Yeah. So let me get a picture for my friend here. Then I add my friend here. And then you press OK. OK is just blue here, somewhere down here. So when you click on it, sorry. then you go back. 
Why is it not? Let me click this and select and then press OK. And then the picture is going to load and you can put it, place it anywhere that you want. That's how you can use the phone. And now let me go back to show my friend uh, who was saying they didn't know how to. So you go to Play Store and Play Store is just here. Play Store is this one which you're seeing it has a, something like a, a triangle here on your phone. Then when you click on it and then you come and search for it and then you install, you install it, then you open. On opening, you will be able to access what we have been talking about here. This, you'll be able to access this and then you start over with your, sorry, let me, I think you won't be able to match up at this point. So let me cancel this. And I, I just come again. And so you will be able to access this screen when you press uh, open, then you, you can either choose one of the templates and then you edit them, you, re you remix it, or you just click on blank. And uh, then you will be able to, you write long press this to delete them, long press to delete them. And you can always add, uh, add the titles or the text boxes by going to uh, these tools here. And then you say insert, uh, so you can always insert text box, which is here, the second one. All shapes can insert another slide, a table, a chart, anything that you want, you can always insert it. So that's it. Let me take now questions and uh, let's, uh, let me take some questions and remind me if you had another question that I didn't, uh, let me stop sharing the screen here. Where is Zoom? And then I take the last questions such that we can do some work. There is a day for washing clothes for some most of you. So let me, I see Nasolo Patricia. Uh, let me allow everyone to unmute, just a moment. So you can now ask me any question. Uh, you can unmute. Let me start with Nasolo Patricia. Naso. Excuse me. Excuse me, teacher. Yes. Does it mean that the people from cohort one and two couldn't go to the ignite stage? Yes. Does it mean that the people who are not finalists mm -hmm. at, at cohort one and at cohort one and two, and they had good projects? Should they go to the ignite stage with those ones of cohort three and four? Ah, uh, oh, three and four. Oh, three is doing the ignite stage from uh, the cohort. But then you are going to be some of the trainings uh, will be the same. You will have a chance to meet with them and then some one or two workshops. But most of the workshops are going to be specific to you. So it's, it's, uh, we are only going to have a few workshops that we are going to be uh, together. I beg your pardon. So, what I, I was saying. You are not going to be in the same class of the Ignite, but uh, cohort one and two are in the same class, but cohort three is going to be in a different class of the Ignite. But we have some workshops. You're going to be sharing classes, some Zoom classes, and also some workshops that we are going to be inviting some speakers who are not out of the country, and then they speak to you, to you guys. So there are some classes we're going to be sharing with other cohorts, but most of the classes you will be alone as you. Okay, thank you, teacher. Welcome. So let's give a chance to Alexander. Then we move on to Mina, Trevor, Jaden. Teacher? Teacher? Yes, please. Earlier you said that you were going to 
to to show me some food. So what are what are what are it that 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 you wanted? What was that? If I said I wanted to show you something. Before I asked you that how do we how do we get a slide? How do we get a a a, a slide? Canva or what kind of presentation do you have to make? No, you said that you first show the people how to get slides on, on a phone and then you and then you and then you come to me. Oh. You meant uh, you were talking about the slide. Uh -huh. Just to confirm, why are you talking about these slides? Yeah, let's talk about the Canva slides. These ones. Yeah, and I just wanted to ask you how to how to how to how to to how to paint your own slide and, and how to get the and how to get um yeah, I want to just ask you how to paint your own slide. To paint your own slides. That's what I, when you don't want to use canvas, you can. Uh, so if I wanted to change, maybe to delete this this uh, this canvas, this slide, I don't want it. So I click on these three buttons here. Then I click delete. Let me first begin this. Then I delete. I want only five slides. So let me delete the rest. And uh, so. I delete all these other slides and I have five slides which I which are appealing. I choose the appealing slides here. Then I can now modify them by changing the color. They also have tools. Uh, you can add text, you can change color for this. And uh, by clicking on this color here, then you choose whatever color you want. But I don't encourage you to, you should don't use canvas when you you don't have ideas, but when you have your own ideas, you can just paint your own like I'm going to show you. So for example, this is a call to action. This is, can be your last slide, which is talking about your future plans. You can just have a heading like call to action. Then you speak about, you can get a cartoon like this one. They are available on, 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 on Canvas. You just use it or you'd search for, for it on internet. But if you wanted to paint your own, uh, like I was doing, let me just share the entire screen here for one minute. We should stop uh, this, this discussion. <laughs> so you wanted this. Uh, you just paint. We were just painting on our own. And uh, I remember Tony telling you that. Uh, the yeah. Yes? Uh, also, I wanted to ask you how to get, how to, how to get to paint your slide. Hey. So let me close, let me just close this. I don't need to save it, so don't save. So you click on, uh, you search for PowerPoint on your computer or on your phone, the way I showed you how to do it on a phone. But for me, uh, I use uh, a, an Apple computer. So I just come to my, uh, if you're not using an Apple, if you're using a Windows computer, you come down to, there's a search, there's where there's a Windows button. You click on that Windows button and then you will see you a search and then you just type in PowerPoint, type in the word PowerPoint, and then you'll be able to see it. But if you're using a MacBook, then you just click on this uh, apps launcher, and then you come, PowerPoint is this. You're, you're just going to see Microsoft PowerPoint, then click on it. And upon clicking on it, you're going to have the same way it was appearing in fonts. These are templates, and if you want a blank, presentation, you just click on blank, then click on create here. Are you seeing create and cancel here? So I click on create and it should be able to come to this slide. So this is the slide where you are talking about and then I can just right click and delete this and then also cut, cut this off. Excuse me, teacher, when are robotics starting? Okay. Robotics are starting next week. The first one for design. Uh, for design. Next week on Sunday. No, 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 no. On Wednesday, I think. Design labs are starting on Wednesday. On, uh, let me share that screen. 
I show you when they are starting. But you don't have to pay the whole installment at once. So this one is the one which is starting soon. It is starting on second. And let me see on my calendar when second is. Second September is going to be. Uh, it's going to be a Wednesday. Wednesday next week is when this one is going to, be. and it's going to be fun. I want you to I invite more many of your friends to apply for it, because uh, you're going to be the first people actually. This is the first time we are running such a workshop. We have never taught this, and uh, it's going to be you're going to be the first group to learn how to develop uh, 2D and 3D uh, designs. Even in your game, you can even use those 3D uh, shapes that you're going to create and put them in your games. You, you're going to learn how to develop the circuits. By circuits, I mean the wiring, which happens to make the robot work, to make the robot uh, respond. Everything which is inside the robot, you're going to learn how to develop those circuits online before we can now move on to the camp where we're going to be sending the uh, the other last camp that I shared is the one for sending the mentor to your home to now do the physical assembly and making the robots uh, or maybe making those hardware projects that we're talking about. Does, Does that this one need a robotics kit? For this one, you don't need the robotics kit. Okay. Yeah. Another person, please. Let me get another question. Excuse me, teacher. Yes. My question is okay. It's about my scratch. I'm um, like, I want like, I want to design my project in a way where, like, when the project, the green flag is clicked, um, all the sprites that are in the backdrop, backdrop, like, are hidden. Then they appear one by one. But I have failed, like, I have failed to code it. Like, I don't know what to do. You want to share your screen? Uh, the rest, by the way, still, if you want to go and do something else, you can leave. The meeting has ended. But let me just help everyone. If you, if you want to me to guide you uh, via your sprite project, then let me take the time to do that. So let me start with uh, uh, my friend here. But isn't it dangerous? Pardon? Uh, I mean, I meant um, like, teacher. Did you have understood my question? No, 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 no. Maybe I didn't understand. Teacher, that, the question is if you want like all the, your sprites on a back on a backdrop to be hidden and then they appear one by one, how do you do that? Which which blocks should you use? Yeah, okay. Now let me let me explain that. So this is the block. Uh, for example, you, you said when when just repeat when the backdrop is is clicked. No, like when the green flag is clicked, um, like the sprites are the. Okay, so you can first code into the backdrop, but when the green flag is clicked, they appear one by one. Oh, so you have to first hide them. Uh, maybe when something is clicked, uh hide, hide them, or maybe you say when uh, you can say, you can start a backdrop here, you can get a backdrop. And let me just first stop recording this meeting. 